Hi grades 3, today is Monday, April the 26th and we are moving to review 6 in our workbooks. And for today, you only have to focus on these 6 questions. Okay, we are going to do A, B, C, D, E and F. That's all you need to do for Monday. Tomorrow, we will focus on questions 2 and questions three and so on, okay? So let's get started and let's just focus on one, okay? So this question, so our first question is, we have 740, we need to divide it by four, right? So you need to take out your uh, times table, uh, those um, sheets that I gave you, the laminated ones, and remember our yellow numbers, go at the top and our multiples the black numbers go at the bottom whenever we are dividing okay so let's get started with 400 sorry 4 divided 740 divided by 4 right now we need to ask ourselves how many fours do i need or how many fours can fit into 7 and we know that only one four can fit into seven. So we go ahead, we write our one at the top. Then we need to remember that we need to multiply as well. So we go back, we multiply one times four or four times one. We look at our sheet and it is four, okay? So then we go ahead, we subtract and seven take away four gives us three. Now we can bring this number down. So we have 34, right? So we need to ask ourselves, how many fours can fit into 34? Well, eight fours can fit into 34, but only we will get not 34, but if we multiply four times eight, it will give us 32, right? Then we go ahead and subtract again. 4 take away 2, we are left with 2. Now I can bring my 0 all the way down. Then I go back to my 4 times table and my sheet and I ask myself how many 4s can make 20? There are 5 4s. We need 5 4s to make 20. So 4 times 5 gives me 20. I subtract and I am left with nothing, okay? So that is how we do our division. Now, I am going to challenge you, so this was question A, I am going to challenge you to do the next question on your own and go ahead and once you're done your question, go ahead and look at the answer key to get the, to see if you got correct answer for our next question, which is 424 divided by 8, okay? Now, I know that you're able to add and subtract, so I am going to leave that to you guys, okay? So we are quickly going to add and subtract, and I will do, of these two, I will do E with you, and then you will go ahead and do F on your own, okay? And again, grades Three, you can only and only look at your answer key once you've done your questions, okay? So let's go ahead and let's look at question E so that we get a bit of a refresher on how do we multiply. So I am going to do question E. Okay, so let's go ahead and the question is 406 multiplied by 9. So we go ahead and we multiply 9 times 6 gives me 54, right? I write my 4. Remember, I need to multiply my 9 to my 1s, then my 9 to my 10s, and then my 9 to my 100s, right? We need to make sure we multiply this number to each of the top numbers. Okay, so 9 times 6 gives me 54. I write my 4 at the bottom and carry my 5 at the top. Now, 
am I going to multiply my 9 to my 0 or to my 5? To my 0, never to any number that I carry over. Every time we carry over a number, we only add it. We never multiply it, okay? So 9 times 0 gives me 0. So I bring my 5 down, right? Or I add it to 0, and it, it gives me 5. That's right. So now we go ahead and we multiply our 9 to our 4. So look at your 9 times table or look at your multiplication sheet. So 4 times 9, or sorry, 9 times 4 gives me 36. So when I multiply my uh, 406 to 9, my answer is 3,654. Okay, so that is question E. Now you need to go ahead and you need to multiply question F on your own using your multi you can use your multiplication sheet if you need to, but I would challenge you to do it without looking. Okay? And I wish you all the best and I hope you're successful in finishing the rest of your questions. And only and only when you're done, then you can go ahead and look at your answer key. And I will see you next time.